I have many favorite prayers for the Amim Naraim, for the High Holidays. Well, one prayer that speaks to me this year is the Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol. It is upon us to proclaim and to praise God. This is a prayer of coronation. It's a prayer of kingship. And as you know, it is a prayer that we say at the end of every service throughout the year. But Rosh Hashanah was its original placement in the Malchuyot section, the kingship section of the Rosh Hashanah Musaf. And in this way, we are reminded that God becomes known in this world through us. We become those witnesses to God by our words and by our actions. But what's remarkable about the prayer isn't just what it states at the beginning, but where it goes with us. Because the God that we believe in is the God who created the heavens and the earth. And if that's so, then this God can't just be the God of the Jewish people alone. No, the mission of the Jewish people is to serve as witnesses to the larger world so that they also can appreciate God's kingship in this world. Not that they should all become Jews, but that they should all find their paths to the one God, to the king of the universe. And what's amazing about this prayer is that it ends in this vision of the prophet Zechariah that says that on that day, God will be one and God's name is one because our people and all people everywhere acknowledge the kingship of God in this world and hear the call to God. And what's amazing is that the first letter is an ayin, aleinu, and the last letter of the prayer is a dalad, and ayin and dalad spell witness. That is the power of being a witness. Now, Cynthia Ozick once taught something amazing about the Aleinu prayer. She said, and it was actually had to do with the shofar, but it applies to Aleinu. And the idea is this, that if you blow the shofar through the narrow end, you make a sound. But if you try to sound the shofar through the large end, you can't hear anything. And the message is this then, our Jewish message can best be heard when we begin to, with the particular, when we know who we are and what we're about, and we move to the universal. May our prayers be heard. May we serve as witnesses in this year. And may we come closer to that day when God's name will be one and all of us will be one together. Shana Tova. Happy New Year.